guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 5 of D4 DJ All Mix. So, gotta get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Ma'am, don't distract yourself, best girl. Any more of that, please? <laughs> it's pretty. But the hunt. Wait, 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 Rika, best girl. Then who the heck is it gonna be with? Like. Is it gonna be Rondo again? Is it gonna be Lyrical Lily? Is it gonna be a happy around, fun time, peaky? You know, what you gonna do? Okay, no, let's also talk about this. So this this kind of really doesn't have to deal with D4DJ, but it's more of like the sister series, you know, Bandere. Um, They're adding in a new group and I'm so excited. It gives me, from what we have seen, very much heavy metal vibes, but their first live isn't until April, which is still a very long time away. Tickets are now being sold. Um, the one time I wish I was in Japan, the one time, you know, it'd be like, oh my god, if I'm going in April, yes, I can buy some tickets and I can go see them and such. Um, and then my best girls, Rosalia. Um, and Morphonica are doing their concert, I think, officially yesterday or today. And they released a poster, and my two best girls, like, are there in the middle? And it was fangirling so freaking hard. Like, they look so beautiful together. I can't. <laughs> With who? Oh, gotcha. What if it's, um, of course. Mm hmm. <laughs> or bear Bradley Bradley more Bradley You know, once again, Rika, best girl, just lucky. <laughs> also, let's also talk about the fact that the new collab, well, not really, the new gotcha with Toa and Marika. Both of them came home for me, which was crazy. Did not think that was going to happen. But I need to start saving for Rika's... Um, the navigation card or the new new birthday card that'll be coming out. Howdy.
so are all four of them gonna like have a group chat with her? Uh, come on, Saudi! True, yes, you just went to Singapore. You had fun though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Dahlia's right. True. And Saudi, it'll be fun. Okay. Good job, you Mm -hmm. That corn looks good. Yeah, but you know what's funny? What if Laura is also learning Japanese secretly? Poor baby. Oh. <laughs> She happy. She happy, happy. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Of course. My poor baby in her with her notes. Mm hmm. It's okay. There you go. Hey, good job. There you go. No. Oh, look how worried Dahlia is! Oh my god! Babe, you're gonna overwork yourself!
You're not putting a much emotion in yourself in it. Honey. Your ideas, your thoughts, your emotions, not what Laura wants, what you want. I need some sleep, honey. Mm. No, this is so pretty. Hey, sleepy. Oh. Really? Right? Oh, Marika. <laughs> oh my god. Saudi. What was right? Mm-hmm. <laughs>
So, got some juices flowing. They're so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But like also with this episode, Laura is going to be very more into the game kind of maybe. But at the same time probably not, who knows. <laughs> I you love it. Are you <laughs> the beat? Oh, my God.
It's too pretty. I can't. I want to cry. <laughs> No, I think she's just happy. <laughs> Ringo, what? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh my god. But that's Rika. Rika, you just, and that's a big reason why she's like my number one best girl. Because instantly, before the game came out, before the anime came out, when we got the first initial um arts of each girl, of course, Mermaid and Rondo, I was immediately drawn to. When I looked at Mermaid, I instantly just looked at Rika. I was like, oh my God, yeah, she's the best girl. I love her, oh my God. But then um, I went from Rika to Saudi only because, you know, okay. So when I, when I was still playing JP and slowly but surely eventually moved my Japanese account to my English account, which is now what I like to call my Japanese English account. Um, the first mermaid girl who came home for me was Saudi. There were so many other people who I was following who kept getting Rika. And I was re-rolling and re-rolling and re-rolling. I was like, Rika, best girl, come home, please. Because I love you so much and you need to just come home. Well, she never came home. So in the end, I was like, okay, I'll take Saudi. So... I said, I'm going to keep Rika like over here on the side, but now Saudi is the new best girl. And then eventually, Rika was like, mm, I'm feeling a little type of way. I'm coming home all the time. Every single time, she always comes home. And I get love back. <laughs> That's what she best girl. <laughs> Figured Happy Around would be the next one. So I'm guessing after Happy Around, it might be Fonton. I mean, because we're we're not halfway through the show yet. Officially as of like what? Next week, because I think we're it'll be 13 episodes. So either next week or by episode seven. But continuing on, the uh the one other thing that I love about Rika. Rika is, she's a people person. She is a social butterfly. She can go out and she can go camping by herself and instantly have a good time. And you never know who in the world she's going to meet. Because it's funny, that's how she met What's Her Face from Call of um, Artemis. Artemis? Call of Artemis? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, on that camping trip. And those two became best friends. And then, you know, her describing how she met Laura. And I'm like, okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes. A very people person, social butterfly, got her. And I love her so much. I love the fact that even with the motorcycle thing, they literally took that because of the Seiyu. The Seiyu really, because I follow her on Instagram, and then I follow her um her YouTube channel. She loves the crap out of motorcycles. So I do love the fact that they are literally taking things that the Seiyus like and instantly putting it into the character's personality. It makes it, you know, not one di not one dimensional, but it makes the characters like very well-rounded and more well-developed because that was like a little bit of an issue I had um, kind of before, by the time season one of Bang Dream ended, because at that time we only were mainly focused on um, Popping Party and we only knew what they liked, but not really truly everything. And then the game, same thing also with D4DJ, 
um, enhanced all of that and such, um, especially when you got to meet the rest of the girls for the remainder of the series. And then also continuing with all these other bands and D4, 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 uh, DJ groups that are coming in and they're also making appearance. This is why hopefully soon, and I might start playing JP again, um, Abbas Mayor finally gets their cards. I know it's coming soon because I know the next, the next gotcha that was, um, the one that featured Rika, Hiro, um, Miku, uh, no, Miko, and Ray. Yeah, that, that gotcha, that of her. The next one I think is coming up soon, and it's Saudi and a girl from Abbas Mir. And they're very similar and such. I'm also hoping, once again, the Abbas Mir is, you know, another adult group, in my opinion, because we have enough high schoolers. <laughs> In my opinion, I, I love seeing more and more, like, studios and games starting to have, like, adult characters. I mean, for me, it started more with Idol Masters and Rally Girls, and then it kind of ventured out, and now look at D4DJ. Heck, you can count the girls of Bang Dream. They're, some of them are now mostly adults now because they're all in college, or not all of them, most of them, while the other half are still in high school, which is sweet. And interesting and I love that they're growing with us and, and that's the same thing that I like about this series like yes it's just so good but the song the song was good I bet you by tomorrow um or by Friday it'll officially be in the game and I'm gonna play the crap out of it I know myself because I play too much of Mermaid Rondo songs <laughs> hell I even have a playlist on the game and my phone because I love the songs too freaking much but yes this was a sweet episode very very good very excited about happy rounds love the fact that this was vo mainly focused on saudi because saudi is such an interesting character and such there are times where i still relate to her as a person and she's just so sweet and adorable even though she's shy shy as hell but she's a baby she's so freaking precious and i love her so much but other than that guys that is my reaction review towards episode five of d4dj all mix if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode 6. Bye, guys.